Hello and welcome to Open Logic. This is System Verilog in 5 minutes. Today we will talk about string variables. This is a hello world code in System Verilog. If you are not familiar with this, you can refer to this hello world video. Hello world is a string value. Instead of using the value directly in the display function, you can create a string variable to store the value and then use the variable in the display function. First, let's talk about the display function formatter. Let's say you have a number and you want to display its value. You can use the formatter in the display function. The percentage %d is the formatter. It means to print the number in a decimal format. Depending on the variable, it may display spaces preceding the value. To get rid of the spaces, you can use percentage %0d. Similarly, you can print the number in binary or in hexadecimal by using their respective formatter. You can also use multiple formatters like this, just make sure that the number of formatters and the number of variables match. For example, there are three formatters here and there are three variables here. Now back to string variable. There are several operations you can perform on string values. For example, you can concatenate two strings together by using curly braces. Here, name2 is John John. There is also a formatter for string value which is percentage %s. In this example, this prints hello John, this prints hello John John, and this prints hello John space John. You can compare two string values by using double equals. In this example, the comparison would return false, as the two string values are different. You can also compare by using smaller than or larger than, but that is uncommon and quite frankly, doesn't make sense. For example, if you compare these two characters, it may be surprising to know that smaller case a is larger than uppercase a because the comparison is done using ASCII numbers. String variables has built-in functions which can be accessed using dot operator. For example, to upper return the string in uppercase, to lower return the string in lowercase, and get c which means get character returns the character at a given position. This example returns the character at position 0, which is j. The substring returns partial of the string. This is starting position and this is ending position. And this example returns jo. Here are some other built-in functions examples. The length function returns the number of characters in the string. If you have a string value which is consists of numerical characters, you can convert it into actual number by using a to i function and then assign it to a numerical variable. Similarly, if you have a number, you can convert it into string by using i to a function. Now there are a lot more built-in functions for string. Read the language reference menu to find out more. Apart from manipulating string variables, we can also write to and read from a file. This example is for writing. We can use $f open to open a file, file.txt is the file name, and w is to indicate a write. The system function will return you a file descriptor, which is used to determine if the file is open successfully. And then we can use $f display to write content into the file, and at the end, we need to use $f close to close the file. Similarly, we can read from a file. We provide r in the $f open function to indicate a read. Then we can use $f get to read one line from the file and put the content into a string variable. Once again, there are many other system functions to manage file I.O. Please refer to the language reference manual for more information. Let's do a quiz before we end this. Compare these two pieces of code. Generally, at reset, state goes to off and while not in reset, state will alternate between on and off at every clock. Can you tell the difference between them, other than one uses enum and another uses string? Well, the answer is that enum being a number is synthesizable, string is not. In summary, we use string variables to display useful messages in validation environment. This is very important when it comes to understanding and debugging design operation. Alright, that's it for this time around. Thanks for watching. And as usual, do help to support by clicking like, share, and subscribe.